Welcome one, welcome all, welcome to another exciting episode here of Hearts of Iron 4 with the Armchair Generals. I am Bridger, and today we're continuing the match from the last time. We are now in May 1938. Things are ramping up. The biggest event so far has been the Chinese-Japanese War. Uh, the Sino-Japanese War, I guess, uh, is not going well for our great friend in China. Uh, we had a player playing as China in the previous game, but we had just a few too few people show up. This this It's a holiday weekend. It's Thanksgiving weekend, so I kind of don't uh, blame them. But um, China's about to be devoured anyway, so China is not a player today. Uh, Japan, uh, Hungary, Germany, Italy uh, are all on the axis. And I believe Germany has actually... Two, oh, um, Germany, Italy, Hungary, Spain, sorry, is the one I'm missing for the axis. And the Allies have France, UK, Turkey, USSR, and USA. So, uh, and Canada. Sorry, we also have Canada being played here. Uh, so that is the current setup, and we're going to jump into the Allied HQ and see what's going on. I'll be playing as the Americans, if it's not obvious. Um, trying to get my country geared up for war. All right, I'm probably set. Are you guys set? Yeah. I'm good. All right, I will let them know that we are set. So the Axis are getting their thing ready. What am I building here? I was building some cruisers. Some light cruisers to add to my navies. An infinite amount of them, huh? How many do I need? I wish you could give ships to other nations, because I have five submarines I just don't want. <laughs> five Maybe submarines? What am I going to do with five submarines? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we definitely need a lot more light cruisers in there. Maybe we should have still set a limit. Where the heck are all the hungry or Romania's troops? I can't see anything. Yeah, he's got nothing on Bessarabia. Oh, Romania sure is also a player. I forgot about that. I'm sure they're hiding the troops on the inside, so we don't can't scout their forces. <laughs> That's a perfect time to attack. <laughs> Surprise! Or at least like get across a river and establish a beachhead because there's some huge rivers in Romania. Oh man, yeah. They're, the the mod that we're playing with, Perfect Storm, does. Uh, Reduce the effect of uh, of rivers somewhat. All right, so my construction speed is still pretty hampered by my economic laws, but or my economic law. It's gonna take us a long time to build this dockyard. Actually, the with our Bonuses. Did the Axis say they needed more time? No, I'm just waiting for them to say they're ready. I wish that bottom chat thing, like, blinked more when it was... ...happening. Oh, yeah, my political power is awful. Ah, yes. We're doing one of those. So we got some regular infantry divisions training right now. We're researching new tanks, I think. We're going to be researching new tanks. Soon. <laughs> Axis are light ready. Tanks, Axis are ready. Okay, I'm going to un un unpause it. So I guess we're going to watch the collapse of the Chinese front there. <laughs> All right, I got Bradley leading the big red one. And then I've got, let's see, the defense army. Let's let's add a new theater here. That's mostly in the in, in the overseas. I just want my damn. I just want to flip and invade Greece before anything happens. Wait a minute. Oh, that's right. You right click. I thought I was dragging. All right. <clears throat> Missing equipment production. Yeah, I need naval bombers. I know. We haven't researched naval bombers yet of any of any good variety, so we're not going to do anything with that. Looks like everybody's keeping up with at least speed two, so that's good. How long can China hold out? Anybody want to take a bet? Uh, a month. You're thinking June? I think He's not attacking Nanjing yet. So. I, I think that the AI's constant reshuffling of forces is going to screw them over because the militia will show up with low organization and get punched in the face. <laughs> yeah. 
That sounds about right. All right, I'm communist. I'm going to start justifying. Oh, really? Uh, I mean, yeah, you can because it's already 34%. That's right. 25% is the limit for communists to justify. It's going to take 300 days, but I'll go for it. What are you justifying on? Greece? Yep. All right. And we said no to them when they tried Slovenia, right? Demand Slovenia. We said we didn't. We denied yep. that. They could so start Yugoslavia, the war anytime. Yeah, Yugoslavia is our potential ally right now. Um, I mean, I'd like to invade Greece and conquer it before the war breaks out, but that might not happen. So is Turkey going to join the common turn? I guess they have to. Yeah, unfortunately, but Eastwood's a nice guy. Thanks. And you know he's gonna he's gonna send twenty million people to their death by fighting the Germans. So you saw the changes nice I made to those uh, Eastwood to uh, the to the NKVD and the NKVD divisions. Yeah, I, I went down that path uh, along with my beautiful eighty-five will be ninety percent national unit. Uh -huh. Aha. <laughs> yeah, the, the the NKVD divisions. I came to the conclusion it's actually in it, in in the code. It adds 30% reinforce rate, which is an order of magnitude higher than pretty much every other reinforce rate. Yeah. Uh, so I determined that that probably was supposed to be 3%, and somebody just typed in something wrong. Uh, well, so in the I... base game, it's 30. Right, yeah. that's what I'm saying. But it doesn't say that in the tooltip. Like, they covered it over with a weird tooltip right. that doesn't explain it. And that's why at first I thought maybe they meant for it to be 30, and they just didn't tell anybody. But then I thought maybe that was not the case because 30% is so outrageous. Nothing else gets even close to adding that to your reinforce rate. And when you that's get true. that, that's a guarantee that your troops get in there in the first three or four hours, basically. And that's kind of crazy when compared to the other options. So I just made it 4% and I gave him some other bonuses in that area. All right. So we don't really have an air force, so to speak, uh, to speak of. My guys don't even have artillery right now. It's dumb. So we did prepare intervention. What do we need? We can't do U.S. ace projects. The giant wake is 40%. We're so close. Just need to declare war on Greece, and the giant can wake, all right? Uh, we all could right, do I'll do war that. Plan in orange. So since everyone's keeping up, should we try three? Yeah, let's try three. I mean, Japan doesn't need slow yeah, to stop. Yeah, probably not. The... Um, let me just double check with them before I do that. It's kind of mean to suddenly spring it on them. Hold on. <laughs> There's big bone. Come on, big bone. He can jump in as Finland there. All right, hold on a sec. Yeah, hey, guys, uh, we can put it up to speed three if you'd like. I was just going to check with the Japanese player first. Uh, Yeah. Okay. All right, we're putting it up to speed three, see how it goes. Big bone can now hot join in, so we'll have, they'll have a Finland after all. <laughs> he totally forgot the game was the day. All right, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna research next. Probably medium tanks. I want to start producing tanks, and I want to start producing light tanks. Um, oh, we do have the carrier variant ready, so we need to get that on the production line. We have carrier fighters already, right? Yes, we need carrier naval bombers. Bingo. At least five of them. Put that to the top. Well, let's do two and two. Just to get us started on both. God, it takes me so long to get these stupid factories. Get me off of isolation, please. Help me, Turkey. Turkish Socialist Republic. You're my only well, hope. Unfortunately, your uh, your changes to justify <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take a long time. It's nine months until my uh, justification. I know, I know. March uh, 1939. Well, you know, if you would justify against the 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 other country that you have the war goals on that I gave you for free as part of the mod, what was it Iraq and, or it was Iran? I think it was Ir Iran and uh, Bulgaria. So I guess I could, especially because. Uh, <laughs> Romania is justified on Bulgaria, those dicks. Oh, but if you have a claim, yours goes faster. Oh, yes, I'm doing it. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> what did they get a claim on, I wonder? If they went down that uh, political tree for the Axis, they should have got a core. Not a, I'm sorry, you got a core because you're communist. They would have gotten a claim. 
because they're Axis. Serbia has a core. Did they yeah, get a foreign gonna, claim on their ally? Because that would. I'm going to beat them by 150 days. So if I can win the war in five months, it won't matter. Oh, it looks like Romania got a claim on Poland, right? Is that what I just saw there? Oh, no. Republic of Ukraine has that. That's right. Huh. Did they They might not have taken that uh, that option then. I don't see a, a claim by them anywhere. Romania's got Bulgaria. No, it doesn't have a claim on Bulgaria. A Romania? Yeah. I'm looking at it. I just looked at the three Bulgarian territories. There's no claim there. No, oh. there. Well, there's a legionary Romania is justifying a war against. Bulgaria. No, they're justifying a war, but they don't have a claim. Oh, okay. They should. They should have gotten a claim for free when they. Uh, if they had taken the uh, political tree for the Axis, the nationalism focus, but it looks like they didn't go down all the way to historical claims. Because I don't see one. Or maybe it's broken. <laughs> like, that's also an option. All right, there we go. Let's do tanks. And, okay, once I get the giant wakes, how close am I to extra research slot? We still need to be at war or more than 45% world tension to... Man, it's tough. Tough being the U.S. Fighter what sucks, though, is that the Bulgarian capital is so far away from my borders. Yeah, it's gonna. You have to conquer everything. That does kind of suck. But he's only many... got ten, he's only got eight to thirteen divisions. I was though, gonna say, so... how many divisions could he possibly have? And mine are better, I guarantee it. But it is mountain. I hope you have some mountain guys because there's a lot of mountain terrain there. I do have four mountain divisions, and I have uh, six marine divisions right now. Oh, I forgot to adjust. Well, I guess I did. Maybe I did adjust it. Low manpower though. Where's my next upgrade on manpower? Is it limited intervention? It is. I gotta add some uh, support artillery to my shock divisions. We have to get off of isolation before we can freely change our our, our economy law. Oh, well, that also lets us send volunteer forces, but we need to be at seventy five percent world tension. I might need to go back and adjust these world tension values for the U.S. to let them do slightly more, considering how much I lowered everything else. But we'll see how, how this game plays out. Oh no, there it is. July! They lasted a little longer than you guys thought. Yeah. That was, that was PRC. Oh, oh, that was PRC. Wow. You're right. I was going to say, why aren't we at a peace conference? Uh, he's not attacking Nanjing on purpose. So that he could collapse PRC. Oh, is he getting more experience, maybe? I, I assume he's hunting my troops. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. I forgot you had troops over there still. My, uh, my, uh, supreme leader is angered by Bulgarian posturing. We're gonna, we're gonna slap him around in the war. <laughs> I think reliability in soft attack, or reliability in max speed. Hmm. Or we could go for American heavy tanks. What do you think? <laughs> Super heavy American tanks. Look out. We might do that later. But yeah, I think we're going to get a tank designer next. If we can afford it in time. This is going to be done in 201 days. We'll have enough time to get it. All right. Yeah, we're not going to get any dockyards anymore. Wow, I've got 26 factories from trade. That's insane. in North Carolina class. Yeah, yeah so I'm definitely going to be Romania to Bulgaria. Cruiser, battle cruiser battleship. 
which actually will be really nice because it'll extend my front with Grease and be able to conquer Grease quicker. That's true. Grease is a hell of an opponent. Yeah, they really are. It's like the one place the AI can defend successfully. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, you're right. You would have had a single province to single province connection at least one time. And then like one to two. That's still awful. Like you can't get any flanking bonuses there if you go nope. along that. But having Bulgaria is definitely going to help you. I would have had to rely on my Marines. But now that my Marines are done, my six divisions, I'm going to switch back to mountain divisions. Yeah. That's probably for the best. Oh, we're running low on artillery, huh? I keep putting gray factories into my production queue, like being very optimistic <laughs> that I'm going to get enough factories anytime soon. Wow, the, the, the tension actually went down to 30. Because uh, all these smaller events are decaying. We have a ton of small small events that are decaying, so it's like 1% per month. As soon as China actually does capitulate, though, I think uh, we'll get a bump up. Probably to at least 40%. I gotta be ready for that. I got my national yeah, don't focus take a, ready. Yeah, it's because don't take a focus. I'm ready. Not again. Never again. I hope they wait just long enough for me to get 150 political power, though. The giant wakes. Civilian economy. Like, man, I, I've never wanted to be on civilian economy so bad before. <laughs> hey, Eastwood. Eastwood, yeah. when, when, my, uh, when my war breaks out, you want to send uh, me some lend lease? Because I could really use a buildup of, uh, of either anti-tank or uh, uh, artillery. Sure. Yeah, I'm not allowed to send lend lease yet. Not actually sure when I get that. Well, yeah, because you can supply the whole world, so I mean, yeah. it's good that you can lend lease. It's actually not that bad because it means that I'm giving away so that the American army's smaller as a result, right? So it's not it's not that bad. Prepare intervention. Lend lease tension limit is down by fifteen percent, actually. So what is it right now? Oh yeah, we need world tension at thirty five percent. I actually could send lend lease soon. Forty days until my war against Bulgaria. I did not notice that. I could have sent it at the beginning of the game. Not that I have any equipment to send, really. Oh, I actually have a lot of infantry equipment to send. I'll send that to whoever needs it. I gotta lower... Eh, no, I'm gonna leave it on 10 factories, at least. <laughs> Having a... 20, 23,000 in reserve seems like a lot, <laughs> right up until you need it. Right up until it all disappears. Alright, so we're going to catch up on our artillery, probably. Meanwhile, I'm still trying to build enough carrier fighters and bombers just to fill my carriers that currently exist. And I'm building two brand new carriers. Actually, they have a good setup there. The fourth international. How many internationals will there be? That's a good question. Don't leave me hanging. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit, my destroyers aren't being built. Oh, well. That's fine. So, uh, judging on how big Bulgaria's army is, they have uh, all their troops on my border. If I uh, take the port on top of them, I could probably rush like eight divisions behind their whole army. Ooh. Yeah, use your Marines there real quick. 
Yeah, I, I've got both of their naval ports being invaded, and there'll be one will be attacked from three directions as the naval invasion is happening. Damn, we're so. down to twenty nine percent. Collapse China already. Man, the, either the AI is putting up a ferocious defense in Nanjing, or he's drawing it out on purpose. No, he's drawing it out. He's yeah, not he's attacking. he's he's got Nanjing encircled, and he's not attacking. And he's got a uh, he's got a uh, or Changde encircled, not attacking. Huh. It's smart, but we'll we'll kick off some Balkan fire in twenty days. So, yeah. And I I could still boost in the Netherlands if you want me to take that. If you want to take that focus, UK. Yeah. Is there anybody where any place we want to boost? I won't be able to boost much. I can't. France and the U.S. are pretty crippled in that particular area. Oh, I can modify that government. There we go. Let's get the tank designer. I, I, do I want speed or do I want soft attack? 5% soft attack is going to be more important than 5% speed, I think. Yeah. If it was 10% speed, I might think about it. Like, that's the... What's his name? Um, the German advisor guy. Who they normally take. The theorist. Guderian. That's right. Armor max speed plus 10. That's damn good. Come on. Capitulate. Oh, there we go. 90% national unity. War begins in six days. I need these defensive units to be stronger. All right, Bridger, could you slow it down in a little bit? Yeah. I'm putting it at two. Three days. Well, two and a half. And then hopefully this declaration of war will get me, let me join the common turn. Yep. If it goes over 40%. Here we go, 36 hours. Let's hope I don't fall flat on my face. <laughs> Alright, so we've got the training division producing quite a lot of troops. Let's get... Oh, crap. Because they'll probably send volunteers. Yeah. Well, hopefully they'll, I can get behind them and encircle them. I mean, I'll hold both ports. Yeah. I'm getting volunteer forces ready. Bulgaria, beware. Oh, that didn't give us too much percent, did it? You're both t kind of small countries. So you only got 1.6% on Bulgaria. Damn you. Maybe when it collapses, we'll get a little bit more. But the declarations of war uh, never decay, if I remember correctly. Like the war declared on China, that 9.1%, that's going to stay 9.1% forever. If I remember, if, if, if my previous tests were correct. Is Big Bone not going to hop in? Did he hop in? Is he on Finland already? Did we miss the hot joint happening? No. Okay. One battle hey, happening. Is Big entire... Bone hopping in? Do we need to pause it? Um, yeah, I think we need to restart. Yeah. Oh, can't hot join. the hot join was enabled, I believe, when I set it up, but we can restart. It's kind of iffy right now. It's not like 100% yeah, thing. All right, let me pause it real quick then, and we'll do that. In China. All right, uh, we're gonna do a rehost here, guys, so that Big Bone can get in. The hot joins not Wait, working uh, for I him. Just, I can just sit out until uh, until you guys have to rehost. Since I don't think sure? Finland's at that point. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Okay. Sounds good. No skin off yeah. my back. I just we're gonna make down. a we're gonna make a breakthrough here. Nice. In a moment. Ooh, it went from twenty nine to thirty two percent. What just happened? 
Ah, oh, I sent, sent ah, volunteers. volunteers. <laughs> Ooh. Accept hot join request. Maybe it is working. Oh, awesome. Woo! Did that break anything? I don't think so. Awesome. I guess we'll give him a minute to get his country straightened out. All right, Big Bone, we'll give you a minute to get your country straightened out. Just type in chat when you're ready. Oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, one thing I've always wanted to try is the U.S. is uh, just shifting the entire army over to mechanized at some point. Not even have any infantry at all. Yeah, I mean, that would be a lot of fun. can't do it for quite a while though <laughs> so we're gonna need an army hmm, we're almost to 1939 we're gonna need improved artillery and level 2 weapons soon all right should we get this rolling yeah finland's probably everything was in order he said he's ready. yep there we go all right, let's see what happens over there. Ugh, I just need to break through this organization. I could send a uh, lend lease. If it breaks the 35% mark, who needs Lend-Lease more? France? Could Lend-Lease help you? Kuganex? Sorry, what? Would Lend-Lease help if we get past the 35% mark? I could send some infantry equipment to you once we get there. Um, I honestly don't know. <laughs> it's been a little while since I played this game. Well, check your uh, your logistics tab and see how much infantry equipment that you're using that's uh, basic. Yeah, I think the last thing I was looking at was like 340 days left until your guys were filled out. He's at a shortage of light tank artillery, and he only has 2K surplus infantry equipment. So, yeah, he could use quite a bit. How do you know? I'm sitting right next to him. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty that sure right it. away. Pretty sure right away I just canceled the light tank line. So I haven't been making any. I am also not making any light tanks. I'm planning to make medium tanks as soon as they become available. Tanks didn't make sense at the time. Infantry is generally what France is probably, at least the way I was trying to do it, what I was going to need. That's probably better to get a lot of infantry first and then think about tanks. I would leave, like, one factory on it. Well, when you only start with six, I guess leaving one factory is a huge chunk of your IC. <laughs> it, it really is, yeah. So I just canceled the whole line. And then I, I researched Fighter 2 and started pumping those out. We are filled on artillery good, just barely. But we... the UK has got like 2K fighter twos, so you might be able to hold off on that. I could definitely keep air superiority with that. I did just send 10 divisions over to France. Do you think I should put them on the Spanish border or...
Yeah, that's a good question. What Kuganets, what's your what's your weakest border that that uh, could need some help? Do they have any troops lined up on your border? Yeah. There's a... Let's see. Looks like Spain. Yeah. I'll send them down there and set them behind your line. How valuable is the recovery rate on line artillery? Plus 0.2. And Germany is going re reassert eastern claims. really show but recovery uh, some rate. soviet unions arrived in ismith there we go get up here that comrade i'm coming or maybe i set these guys on coastal defense in case italy does a naval invasion that's certainly possible there's three really valuable ports there yes be sure to definitely port guard yeah, Provence has a 10 level port. That one's the biggest. And also, be sure to at least have one troop on Paris. <laughs> yes, in case they drop some paratroopers. You don't want a parrot because you got 30% national unity. A paradropper at Paris and then one of the other cities. That'll kill you. We got a hole in the northern part of the line that I'm trying to exploit. If your tank can get through it. Yeah. Perfect. Huh. War economy, yeah. I wonder if this not finishing off China thing is good or bad I mean I guess he should theoretically be suffering a dealing with a bunch of uh, the uh, resistance and he has to occupy that stuff but he shouldn't have a problem occupying it really and now that China's like a, a shadow of its former self it's not got enough factories to really pump out troops in a way that's going to threaten Japan too much. If only we were over 35%, I would just ship a ton of stuff over to China. And then, like, where did they get all these divisions? Glorious Russian tanks. Pour through the gap. Did the Russians get uh, caught yep, in China? <laughs> Um, no, I, I was able to pull out two because PRC collapsed, and then I have four sitting on a port. Ah, okay. There we go. Yeah, it looks like a breakout. Yep, we got some Turkish men on foot and some Russian tanks zooming along. Not bad. Huzzah. What was I just going to do with this? Let's check industry. Factory repair speed is just so not necessary. Um, let's start improved artillery. still sitting here hoping hoping for something to be valuable as a focus but uh... hopefully the capital's unoccupied woohoo victory let's hold off a little longer 
They all did. Ooh, we're running out of manpower fast. Damn it. Yep. Well, is it divisions are just sitting up here in the north on Romanian border? Bulgaria is 82%. As soon as you take that little city there, you got them. All his troops are up here in the north for some reason. Dead AI. Yep. Some new capital. I'm gonna need to start looking at Marines soon too. Damn it. It's too much to do, not enough time. We're gonna infantry weapons too, then we're gonna grab marines. Uh 34%! Damn it! <laughs> so close! I could start lend leasing a bunch of stuff, but uh not at the moment. I should have convoys at the very bottom of this. Ooh. Just in There's case. all the Romanian troops. Yeah, he was getting ready for a war with uh, Bulgaria. Oh, I got plenty of extra factories now. What should I build? When's your war with Greece? March of next year. Okay. Yeah, still 140 days. Oh, Japan is finally attacking Hunan. Or maybe Hunan's attempting a breakout, I can't tell. Changde. Uh, no, that's uh, Germany attacking him. Oh, interesting. Are they doing it on purpose? <laughs> like, why wouldn't you also attack Nanjing? That's an attack in Nanjing. He's got it completely surrounded. Hmm. Is the UK able to send Lend Lease? No? 40% it says for me. Really? Ah, okay. That's interesting. The US actually has lower. Because... Democratic plus 50, prepare intervention minus 15. So I took a. The prepare intervention. Okay, that's right. Oh, I take that back. It says 50% uh, for me. Yeah, oh, interesting. So the UK, do they have any lend lease reduction in their tree? I don't think they do. Not, not that they that have a, not that they have a lot that they can send, <laughs> but uh, they've got a lot of stuff that deals with fortifying all stupid stuff all the way around the world. And yeah, trying to take over. This has to be a new well, wow, I, have a, I got a lot of stuff from Bulgaria, so I should be set for a while. Those other guys still moving? Yeah, they're still on the way over there. Jeez, it takes a long time to get to the Philippines. Back in the day. Let's send the Pacific Navy to where it needs to go here. I guess we'll send Destroyer Group 3 and 4 over there as well. Yeah, Greece is going to be an issue with how hard, how hard the Bulgarians fought. I don't know how I'm going to smash through without any armor or anything. 
Actually, Greece doesn't have any artillery or anti-tank or support battalions in their divisions, so... There you go. Might be able to do it. So Germany's attacking into Changde and still hasn't succeeded. I think it's like one division. I'm going to speed it back up to speed three. Oh boy. All right, so Germany's on re finishing reassert eastern claims. Could go Danziger war soon. Um, or try for negotiations with the West. They haven't done Molotov-Ribbentrop, right? No. Yeah. They could go negotiations with the West and try to go for an East first mentality. Hey guys, in uh, two days, once I finish my focus, I'll be officially a major. How do you know? Because I have 49 factories. Ah, that's right. Well. Oh no, I have four dockyards, so I only have 45 factories. Damn. Well, it'll be soon. You still have to be one of, like, the top eight, I believe. Oh, oh but I got gotcha. you. you might usurp China? I don't know. Oh, here's the memo claim. I don't understand why they're just leaving China like that. Because they're preventing me from taking my better focuses. Okay. Uh, he's going Molotov Ribbon Troop. Oh, okay. So that's going to that's gonna coming. basically... Uh, Hinder the Soviets for a year or, to or so. I mean, but I can still send volunteers. I think it's worth to take it because, I mean, you get all that extra territory and factories and more land to defend with Russian soldiers. Yeah, the Soviets actually can't decline it as long as they're still suffering from the purges. Oh, gotcha. And they are. Yep. Well, uh, w once Greece is taken out of the way, I'll get ready for invasion of the Italian islands means I should start making ships too but yeah I gotta get roads with it zero slots <laughs> anywhere that there's a port and an air base for the Italians to stick their stuff gotta take it that's true after Greece you could start threatening Albania just by being on the border there yeah, that's the plan, but I'm gonna it's gonna be a fake because I'm gonna build forts in the mountains and just stick my mountain guys there. Oh, I do have Marines ready. I just need to start giving them more stuff. That is not well, I guess, enough. I guess uh dockyards count towards extra research slot too. Awesome. Dockyards count towards factories with regards to extra research slot, you mean? Uh, yeah, I guess they do. Because I started sense. my... I have 51 total uh, facilities, and I started my uh, research up. Huh. Japan might have built a lot of dockyards. Do I get any more dockyards in any of these? I don't think I do. Fund the Navy? Nope. Maybe I should build a few more dockyards. I don't know why I have troops still garrisoning the Soviet border. They're better guarding the home front. Don't you try anything funny, Stalin. I'll stop at 42 dockyards, no, because that's a good no. number. Iraq has a lot of slots. <laughs> and oil. Precious, precious oil. That was my trade. I need one rubber. And that's the only thing I could potentially need. Greece, if, if I manage to take Greece, will fix all my resource problems, so. All right. Then I'll be able to manage a small air force and things.
So I've got one army of 24 infantry divisions, and I've got another one building. That's my current expeditionary force should war break out right now. <laughs> not, not great. It's not bad either, though. 24 American divisions will do something, definitely. I could... France is also, I mean, France, the previous France player now playing in the UK did a really good job of making it a fortress. Kukadex is just sitting there churning out more guys and more forts. Yeah, I won't be able to send volunteers until I get a specific... Uh... Which one is it? Which gives me volunteers? The limited intervention? Yeah. Which is 75%. Well, thanks. I figured Kuganex would be like, this guy's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Infantry weapons too, people. Don't forget it. It's 1939. A lot of nothing happening. The axis being nice and slow here. Okay, I'm going to need to pull some rubber... And steal from somebody. Who needs the rubber? France, you want another factory? I have another factory. He needs it more. Wait a minute. I need steel? I'm actually exporting way more. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll give uh, France one more factory for the steel. But next, I'm going to try and get my own steel production up a little more. All right, so we've got the Atlantic and two destroyer groups. I got subgroups. If war was to break out, I probably want the subgroups in the Pacific, right? I think I do. Yeah, yep. definitely. I'll actually base them out of Hawaii. Hopefully, in uh, two months, or when I the Philippines. declare on Greece, it should get up over the hump. I gotta go see what my kids are getting into. I gotta use the restroom. Oh man, this would be an awful time for the Axis to attack. <laughs> Let's see if we can add one more colonial defense and boost that colony defense rather than boost that just a tiny bit. As so we get one more XP here. Oh! Yugoslavia! So that happened. Damn it, I'm already halfway through a stupid thing. Okay, but I'll, I'll be okay. Well, let me see. Uh, you you want to invite... Uh, we can't... Uh, UK is missing. We can't invite them to the Allies. Oh, crap. Uh, Yugoslavia is in the Allies. Oh, because that's right. We... Uh, yeah. I forgot about that. So that means that UK <laughs> is at war. Uh, well, they have not joined in Oh, they yet. haven't joined it yet. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. I can join in, but I don't want to do it alone. No, it's not a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> really not. They don't want me to get Greece, maybe? Are we not letting... Are we just letting them take you, Yugoslavia? Well, mean... the UK player just stepped away. <laughs> oh. Right. <laughs> the, the winner is the Perfect Timing Award. <laughs> should, we, should we pause it? Um, well, here's the real question. Would we have, would we go and defend Yugoslavia? I don't think so. I no, think instead, uh, the UK should be sending forces over to France and France could then declare on, to join the war. Cause right now it's just Germany versus Yugoslavia. I don't know. What do you think, France? You just want to hang out there and let them die? And they're, they're steamrolling Yugoslavia. Yeah. Fair enough. I, I but if we, but if we don't join the war, then you get to annex Yugoslavia. Yes. Oh, then we're going to want to do it. At yeah. least one major has to So join the it. UK can do it, because they're safer. France doesn't have to join well, until we, Germany we jumps should pause in. It. We, should <laughs> pause it we should probably do that. Hold on, I'm going to jump down and let them know the and situation. And I just got the Molotov. And the winner of the Perfect Timing Award, we had a UK player said, all right, guys, I'm going to run to the bathroom. I hope nothing happens. And then literally 10 <laughs> seconds later, Germany's declared war on Yugoslavia. And we're like, what do we do? So I'm just going to pause it until he gets back because that might be something he wants to respond to. <laughs> I mean, I mean, France could, you know, join in. That might be something that the UK player wants to respond to. <laughs> all right, hold on a sec. 
All right, we do have to figure out what we want to have happen. I think we want the UK player to join and France to wait, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, and that means I can start sending lend lease uh, to somebody. Who can I send lend lease to? France? Uh, let me see if it'll let... You know, France has to be at war. I can send it to the UK once they go to war. Well, yeah, get planes over to the UK. Oh, God, do I have any planes? I haven't been building I, any I planes. I have a ton of planes. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right, I'll start a line of planes. America needs to be cranking out the planes. I've been trying to build enough planes to fill my current uh, my current carrier needs. So should <laughs> should I join the war? Oh, the yeah, UK is back, yes. The UK yes. needs to join the war All so right. we can uh, prevent them from annexing Yugoslavia. All right, I'm doing that. Now I'm going to do close air support as well. I just need so just many factories. make sure factories. you have all your ports guarded. Oh, I'm sure the UK is fine. There's Molotov, Ribbentrop. Did you join the war? Yes, I did. I can currently send zero divisions. Yeah, that's fine. You don't need to send anything. We just UK, need to... I have an abundance of infantry equipment and some support equipment, if that would help. I'd be able to recruit more. All right. Uh, let's just send... This is going to use your convoys, isn't it? Do you have enough convoys? Oh, yeah, that's fine. All right, I'll send you 2,000. Thank you very much. I'm sending you extra planes. And I'm building planes. I probably should have done that a while ago, but here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the war economy. Woohoo! And I'll try to at least grab the makeup of the German troops as soon as my volunteer lands. And once I get on the giant wakes, then I'm going to save my political power to increase my conscription law because it's awful right now. But I just have to get off of isolation. Hang in there, Yugoslavia. I could send them some lend -lease. What do you think? <laughs> no? Eh. It's fine. They're going to capitulate, and then uh, they'll have to occupy it the whole time. So and it looks like Hungary is the one taking it, too. Germany declared war, but Hungary is taking it. Well, Germany tra is transferring control as they gain control ah, of states. Ah, interesting have a sort of weak Germany then in comparison yeah I think Germany's powerful enough without the extra land sure they, Hungary they probably get... benefits more from it than Germany does yep specifically them factories against France well, good. ah they wanted France in there when I went in there uh, and I told them the situation they're like uh, well you know you France can intervene while you're waiting for for UK <laughs> <laughs> They could. Technically. Ugh, I'm going to have to spend my political power on limited conscription here because I don't think we're going to get to 75% for limited intervention. That's funny. Limited intervention is just too high. Whoa. The Axis is a thing now. Holy shit. I'm going to be fighting the Axis and the Balkans really hard, it looks like. I am common turn. Yeah, and so you are also under that uh, non aggression. I got air power over Western Germany then. Really? Blow them up. Yeah, I'm bombing, hopefully, bombing the crap out of them. <laughs> I don't know. I, I can't have less than 50 planes in a wing, though, right? Correct. That's the idea to prevent the exploitation of the current kind of broken air system, which I think they said they were fixing. All right. I'm getting closer to having a second expeditionary army. So I've got 124 and 113. No tanks yet, um, but I'm going to start making them now, or soon as factories become available. But that's a lower priority than my air. Hey, um, Soviet Union. Yeah. Will you join my war against Greece? 
Sure. Perfect. I'm just gonna I'm gonna need your Black Sea fleet to establish control over the Aegean. Ah. Okay, let use. me uh, let me set them to sinking convoys. What Brits do best. All right, I've stopped training infantry divisions so I can start training marine divisions. Because I do not have enough manpower. Now I need to save up and add some support companies. Ugh. It's not an, this trickle of army experience just isn't enough. <laughs> So five days till I can declare on Greece. Do you think they're just going to leave China like that until like the UK uses it as that at a foothold or something to just suddenly break out? <laughs> like, wait, what's going on? Ah, how did these divisions get in China? Okay. Japan is spamming non-aggression packs. So, uh, UK. To what, the USSR? Yes. Yeah. UK watch out in a, in a couple days when I declare war on Greece, they'll probably want to join the allies. They actually get an automatic non-aggression pact with the Soviet Union when they take um, southern expansion, if I recall correctly. Yeah. I think that's a vanilla thing, too. I don't think I added that. Yeah. Here we go. All right. We've got to watch this unfold. And that pulls my volunteers back. So thank you. Yes. I don't have those volunteers in China anymore. Aha! So the Yugoslavian war actually uh, is not... Yugoslavia's still got a, lot, a little ways to go. 63% towards capitulation. It's hanging in there. But Belgrade falls. I think they're, they're probably done. Is that a naval battle? The Greek fleet putting up resistance? Or is that an invasion? It's an invasion. Okay. What to do next? 1940 improved computing machine seems like a good plan. This is going to be a fight. They repelled two of the three of my naval invasions. But I'll just land in the uh, Peloponnesus and move up. I'm producing 1.7 fighters per month. Is that going to be enough to turn the tide? <laughs> Which reminds me, I need to do some close air support. Oh, I finished towed artillery, so I need to make that happen. Switching over to towed artillery level 2. Ooh, they're getting Ooh. ready for France. The, we gotta let them into the Allies, right? They already are. Okay, got it. We're starting to rumble through northern Greece. Yeah, April 1939, so, yeah, April 20th, so France, be ready. It's coming. Spain is not in the Axis yet. They might not be able to join until that recovering from Civil War. Yeah, join faction tension limit is plus 50. So the Spanish can't join, I don't think, until 1941 unless they declare themselves attack uh, with their own justification. Ooh, Belgium joined allies. Nice pick. So can the UK put forces in Belgium? Do you have forces that are willing to be put in there? Yeah, I don't know how much do I need to keep down here on the southern coast of France. Uh, That's true. France is probably more important than Belgium, but Belgium does have some pretty good defensive terrain, if I remember correctly. It's like swamp, oh, it's forest. I think I'm thinking of Netherlands as the. Yeah, I would sit. I would sit in France and France and uh, protect the uh, line of forts because France is sitting over there with a huge line of forts. All the way to the sea. Oh, wow, yeah. He built him up to level 6, to max level. Oh, yeah. Frag knew what he was doing. 
And now he's coming to the rescue of his own forts. <laughs> I, was just, I was just praying. I was just sitting there praying. How's the southern border? Uh, five of six, two, five of six, five of six, not bad. France might hold. That might be a good hold. Let's see. I almost want to leave these 10 divisions on the southern coast in case Italy or Spain starts breaking through. Because they can make a quick run to Paris if they get through. I'm going to do that just in case I start getting pulled. In. Oh, There's there Italy. we go. Um, do you guys need anything, UK or France? Uh, I could use some on the Italian border. Okay, as soon as I'm done with Greece, I can send volunteers. Or as soon as we're done with Greece, we can send volunteers. Do you guys oh. need, like, Lend Lease or anything? And Greek Marines are landing in the Peloponnesus. Hoorah. Hoorah. I am running out of civilian factories <laughs> because I can't get off this damn law. Okay, Giants waking soon. That'll help a little bit. Moved all the air sport up into the Benelux. And I think Greece landed on you there, too. Yeah, he's on one of his islands. I mean, I'll just bring some troops over. It's no big deal. Okay. Here they come. And we're smashing towards Aslan's now. The the Marines and the Peloponnesus are making quick work of everything. Aha! The giant is awoken. Victory is mine. Yay. I gained like six factories from that. What else can I get to? War plan black or white or non nonsense. I just get to arm embargoing people. Um, or I can start improving my air production speed. I think that's important. We're uh, we're also smashing through the north. Thessalonica will fall in a couple hours. Yeah. So close to my extra research slot. Please get another 10% world tension. I need it. <laughs> France, there's nobody in Champagne. Champagne. Oh, yeah, because you do a front line against a country and now the country just freaking changed. That's a big pain. Oh, I was going to do my uh, volunteer only to limited conscription. I hate to do that, but I need it. And... I mean, I also could have used it to get onto partial mobilization, but... Eh, I need that. I needed to keep producing people. And now I can go back to training infantry divisions. Oh, there it is, people. All right. I am going to be able to send some lend -lease over to France if it helps. Um, what do you need more of? Crap, I don't know how to make that yet. So, if you want to switch some factories off of anti-tank, I can send you some, uh, some infantry equipment. I'll send you 15% of what we're building every day. Oh, yes, you got them cut off. Perfect. All air powers in northern France now. You should have a lend -lease request there. See actual. There we go. That's right. It's in here. 
We have a bunch of interwar fighters we could send, too. For what that is worth. Well, whoops. How many do we have? 384. All right, yeah, France, need, I got a couple need British Lendleys. British troops in France really bad. Except okay. my Lendleys, France. Oh, they're so close to Paris. That ain't good. Oh, but you cut him off. Nice. Yeah, he's doing his best, but we need British Ooh, troops. Ooh, it's 83%. Holy shit. Um, I can soon do limited intervention and send volunteers. I'm coming as fast as I can. sitting here watching. Well, it looks like the, the pocket nice has been, the threat to Paris has been contained for now, but get the British troops in here. Oh, they busted back. <laughs> you actually crossed out of the uh, Maginot. Oh yeah, look at that. He's, he's, he's crossed the Rhine in two places. Nice. Oh, I got paratroopers on London. No! <laughs> Shit! Yeah, yeah. Yes. They ain't gonna last, but they're I there. I called that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in oh. Birmingham! Uh-oh! <laughs> you need to get your Air Force over your own country. Hey, that's a good idea. <laughs> How many? Oh, you got London back already. Okay. I was expecting to see, like, six more drop, and, like, oh, crap, the UK has capitulated. <laughs> oh, God. Paris is going to fall. Paris, you can't fall. I'm giving you factories. I'm going to stop giving you factories, actually. <laughs> it's only going to produce things the Germans use. All right, let's see. Uh, I wanted to do improved computing machine next and then start looking at very important things like anti-tank, maybe? Yeah, that would be valuable. You want to bump it down to two for a sec, maybe? Yep. Things are getting hairy. Just don't let him get a port. In the south? He got a port. That's so good. Looks, yeah. Uh -oh. Where are the, uh, when can America join? It's got to be 100%? Yeah. As soon as I go to move people over to France, boom. Hopefully you have control of those waters. Yeah, water should be fine. All right, I'm close to having two full expeditionary armies. They are not the best yet. I do still need to know how to make anti-tank. I may have fallen behind a bit on that. But if I'm going to be in the war soon, I also need my colony defense to be set. That'll do. Is... 
soon as we get Athens, they should capitulate. Oh, shit. You landed six divisions. Oh, boy. Ah, oh, but there's no port there. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Cut them off. Yeah, they are cut and, off. You just need to make sure they stay nice. cut off. And uh, France is holding the zone now. Stabilize the front north of Paris. D does he need anything, Flask, as far as like Lynn lease? Uh, I would get him. Uh, he needs anti-tank if you can give it to him. Okay, I don't have that. That's the, that's the only thing that was lacking was there was no anti-tank research. I also may have uh, not gotten that when I should have. Ooh. I have two medium tanks. I'm so proud of myself. I'm proud of you too, Bridger. Yeah, that's going to take a goddamn ages. They should not be able to su 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 supply these troops with like none of their country left. Who? The Greeks. Oh. <laughs> Look what they have left. Like nothing. Yeah. I expect we'll see a change to the way that supply works in one of these patches. Athens still not falling, huh? Well, Italy landed in southern France. Yep, France has sent its entire Spanish army over. It's, it'll be fine. Sorry, angry dogs. <laughs> Fuck, they're gonna break through in Italy. I can actually train a lot more infantry, can't I? If, you, if there are British troops in uh, France, uh, the Italy broke through in the south. I got nine divisions sitting on Paris and four coming from uh, Normandy. Sending more. It looks like France might be toast, but it's kind of expected. Yep, when... Uh... If that happens, we can have the French player uh, co-op with the UK. Does that make the most sense? Or the Soviet Union? What do you think? I'd say the UK. Especially because when you lose, you don't get kicked out anymore, which is nice. Yeah, okay, we're learning about anti-tank now. It'll take us a couple of months, but we're learning. <laughs> we're looking at very... We're very thinking maybe if we guns. throw... Yeah, we're thinking maybe if we throw very high, heavy things at the tank, it might puncture it and kill those inside. That's, <laughs> that's our very, current that's our current very high rate of speed. <laughs> yeah. Some have suggested using some kind of explosive to propel a heavy thing. Much like we do in our own tank guns, we might just take one of those guns and put them on the ground. Ten more divisions are uh, landing in Normandy now. Might be too late. Yeah, this one's done. They they pocketed the southern army. And... Oh, shit, yeah. I mean, it happens. Don't worry, guys. The giant is waking. It's happening. Soon. I just need to get off this awful economy. Model. The arsenal of democracy is waking up, yes. Yes, yes. That game was rough. Is Japan in the Axis? They are not. I'm getting my uh, Philippine forces set here. Yugoslavia. Wow, Yugoslavia took a long time. Yeah, they held tough. France held tough, too, after the first uh, German blow. It was the sneaky Italians that got through. I think I'm going to try to get my divisions out of here. That's definitely where I'm going to put them. Run away!
Oh, France can sit in as a government in exile. And we'll, oh, we're, we're at 100%. Discussion. Invite me. Get rid of this goddamn awfulness that I've got going on here. I hate Athens so much. Sent. All right, we're in like Flynn. So where can we go? We want to torch it up here? I could maybe get this division. Yeah, get get troops to France because they're still holding North ooh, Africa. Ooh. Yeah, to North African France. Still I'm grabbing, I'm grabbing the Casablanca Fuck. port right now as fast as I can. And I'm going to send out the Atlantic Navy to escort them. So we want convoy escort. And then I've got two destroyer groups that I can use to help uh, guard. Be careful. Do you have troops in Gibraltar? <laughs> National Spain just joined. Yeah. So destroyer group one, destroyer group two. He's going to go on convoy raiding and see what we can find in the same areas. Actually, do you have anybody raiding the German border in case they're trying to get supplies through? Me? No. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Uh, so, am I finally free? Uh, I still have the Great Depression. Isn't that supposed to go... Oh, I have to use the focus to get rid of it. The issue war bonds, right? Yeah, that's, that's, that's why I needed to be at war. Okay. Yeah, unfulfilled. Oh no, you did not have enough troops at the Gibraltar. I mean, that one's hard to defend. Yeah, I don't blame you. All right, um, I could send my close air support there. So I have nothing uh, air wise. Oh, they're gonna capture the 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 damn Spanish are already out. I've got my... Okay, I've got my division's gonna make it to Casablanca in time, I think. What about my fighters? I'm short on rubber. Uh, let's see, who can we get it from? The UK? France isn't giving it to us anymore, so get rid of that. And steel, no longer getting it from France. Yeah, we're not going to get steel from the German Reich. Here, we'll get steel from the Soviet Union, give you a couple of factories. Where's my divisions? Oh, I thought those were armies. Shit, they might not make it to Casablanca in time. It was actually my navy. Nope, they're definitely not making it to Casablanca. Damn it! I don't know if I should try to sneak into North Africa. Like over in, in Tunis area. What happens if their port is cut off, I wonder? Oh, I have free dockyards? How is that possible? Okay, well, what do we want? Hmm. What do these need? More light cruisers. Wait, what? I still had nine divisions fighting in oh, Paris. Oh, jeez. Let's start a third fleet, I guess. They're pushing me back in Egypt, but... We'll do that for now. Nothing I could really do about that either. So we start... Is this really going to invade Casablanca when it gets there? 
I'm curious about that. No. Yeah, my my uh, my army is still. I, I wonder if this is a bug because I started to deploy to Casablanca while it was still friendly. It might just land there. UK, can you build another uh, port somewhere in North Africa on the the Atlantic coast there, like in the farthest south, like Marrakech? Mm, let me see. I don't know if you can build it in time, but that might be a way that we could get there too. Hey, UK, um, the uh, French player was able to join you. Oh, okay, cool. There as long as Japan China. isn't being uh, aggressive at the moment, I could use they my Pacific fleet. China, so they may. Yeah. That may be turning towards the Philippines and or you soon. Yeah, I'm going to start my Pacific Fleet um, defending over in that area. So I'm upgrading the naval base in... Um, 280 equipment. <laughs> Saint Senegal by Dakar, is that what you're talking about? Uh... Building a naval base, like in um, the the state of Marrakech, but in the furthest yeah, south one, south of Casablanca, directly south of Portugal, but still in the northern African area. Oh, okay, yeah. I don't know if it can be. No, you know what? Never mind. They're they're moving too fast. For a while, they were stalled out. I thought maybe the Spanish player would just sit there, but I don't think you're gonna make it. Yeah, he jumped my, in. My, my, my army, though, is still headed towards that port. I think they're going to get pretty fail, but we'll see. Hey, uh, uh, Soviet Union, I figured out what was going wrong. The uh, the Greeks technically have one problem to retreat, or one province to retreat to, so we can't eliminate them. So I'm going to take that island, and then we'll be able to finish it. Okay. subs over there too on convoy raiding duty see how this goes. All right, meanwhile, I need my armies ready to... Already heading out there. Three is still training. All right, we're going to find out if my army does a naval invasion of Casablanca despite not having given a naval invasion order. Actually, I think we're going to take Athens pretty soon here. Oh, geez, that's still going on, huh? Yeah, we're just grinding down organization. Uh, nope, it's diverted, and it's going to another port, the closest port. Okay, so now they know how that works, kind of. So we're going to try to get to whatever that naval base is. Um, Algiers. Oh, they're not going to get there either. That's... So we need to get the Atlantic fleet defending this here. All 
All right, it doesn't look like any of my divisions are going to make it anywhere except... Oh, man, we already lost the Suez? That ain't good. Nothing to worry about. We have the big sleeping bear over there. Someone just needs to poke it. Yeah. <laughs> Germany didn't even declare on Poland, though. My 24 wish... divisions are still traveling around looking for a place to land. Every time they get close to a port, it gets taken over by the damn Axis. I think the Italians are going to get that one, too. I'm going to get so many factories freed up here, I need to start queuing shit up because it's going to start getting crazy. Yeah. There We're we go. We're up to 90% on Athens, and almost all the divisions are below five organizations. So. Just break through. I'm actually... I got my main fleet in... Uh, the Met, One of my main fleets in the Mediterranean, and nothing is harassing it. Maybe I should use my destroyers to harass the... Uh, dude, convoy raiding in the Mediterranean against the uh, Italians. We'll see how that goes. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. We might land in Tunisia. The Italians didn't take it. I mean, that is only... That's a level 8 port. Here it goes. We're landing. The Italians left it open. Oh, they're moving now. It's going to be too late. Come on, get there. Oh, it's going to take one day. I think they're going to beat us to it with that armored division. Damn it! <laughs> so close. All right, I'm going to try to get to Syria now. If I can. Maybe I can't. It's not letting me choose. Okay. I wonder if they panicked and they saw that. I hate Athens so much. Yep. It's still not falling. That's crazy. You can't even, like, cycle troops to lower their organization and not let them recover? Oh, their organization's so freaking low. It's just, it's going down so slow. Now they're down to five divisions, so it'll start picking up speed. But And we have air superiority. <laughs> it's just crazy. Uh, four divisions. Wait, in a second. It's at literally at one organization. It hasn't withdrawn yet. I haven't sunk any Italian stuff. How come? They not Fort have a Navy out there? Come on. Oh, god damn it. They're rotating troops. We're busting through. Keep going. Three divisions left in the fight. All right, we now know about support weapons one. I'm glad I did that a while ago. Oh, we need a new theater for these guys. You know what? The Let's damn naval invasion planning takes forever, it and does. I need to do ten more days before I can assault the, their last bastion of troops. Am I really not going to get to Syria either? This is insane. I've tried to get to six ports, and every time they take it mere days before I can get just there. Just go, to, just go to Cyprus, and then invade from Cyprus. I'm probably going to wind up doing that, um, but. <laughs> I'm going to first try to get to, to Syria. To what is that? Um, damn it. Lebanon. Oh, I wonder if he has anybody on Sardinia. I don't know. But this army's not a not an invasion, naval invasion. I've got no marines on it. Um, in fact, let me improve my marines. I had to give them... Some support you know, D-Day was, no, D -Day was done without any Marines. You can do it, too. <laughs> it's done with a lot of preparation, though. <laughs> Japan joined the Axis. Oh, boy, we're at war with Japan now, aren't we? Seven no, not days. yet. They didn't join the war. They just joined the Axis. All right, but uh, my naval situation here... And just to give you a heads up, Japan does not have any troops on my border. 
Jesus, my aircraft carriers are still not at full... Five days until I can launch the naval invasion. I put an end to this damn whack a mole. Damn it, they took Beirut as well. So, yes, we're going to re reorganize Cyprus. We can't get, like, <laughs> the ability to go through Turkey, unfortunately. Maybe at this point I could go all the way around Africa and land in uh, Kuwait <laughs> and come at them through Iraq. <laughs> oh, boy. French Somalia land's still there. I mean, you could land in the, uh, in the mountains next to Aleppo and just walk to Aleppo and start getting supply. I certainly will give that a shot. I don't know if I have the uh, time. The real question is, have they fortified any of those? Because I don't see anybody on those naval bases. So I am definitely going to start sending units to all of the naval bases, and whichever one pops first. He's got 25 paratroopers sitting over by uh, Antwerp, and so he might be coming into England soon. We need lots of planes to the UK. And lots of garrisons, so... Ah, yeah, let me send... Some lend lease. I can send you some crappy fighters right now, but it's better than nothing, I guess. There you go. Much appreciated. I'm only just waking up still. Please pardon my my current situation. My All war right, bonds naval, are so close. The naval invasion is off. We'll turn those guys down. The naval invasion of Athens. No, it's the naval invasion of the islands north of Athens. <laughs> oh, I see. Because he just keeps cycling men. I don't know. I mean, it's really unrealistic because they wouldn't be able to resupply. The Aegean there. islands to the east are the ones he's cycling through. Those are the. That's the only thing he can connect to from Athens. It's it's, I think. it's this. Oh, wait, uh, is that little uh, island north? It's maybe? the big island to the north. Yeah, that's good, Thessaly. But the my troops are going there right now, so we got it. These troops have low supply. Uh oh. Um. That's no good. Can you build up Cyprus's naval base at all? It's only a two. Even a one more bump would help. Uh, but let me see what I can do to invade with some of these guys. Oh, I can't. With more than that. Okay. Well, let's give everybody. There we go. Got the troops on the island pinned down from the attack. So hopefully this will grind them down in Athens. How long is this going to take? 28 days needed. And then we'll try to grab Beirut real quick. I don't know if it'll work, but we'll try. We don't have another port from which to launch. Down to five divisions in Athens. Four. Wait a minute. How am I not part of the German-Yugoslavian war? Are they not combined yet? That's weird. I thought I was already at war. Didn't I? Because getting called into the Allies? No? I don't know. Either way, I'm now at war. 
Oh, I got the issue war bonds because it was more than 95% world tension. I was never at war. That's why I wasn't sinking anything. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, I'm a moron. <laughs> My other close air support. No, I had one close air support somewhere. I put oh, it in Malta. We're so, we're oh, so close to Athens. Malta. So close. <laughs> it's agonizing. We need one more division to flee, and then we should start really seeing it go quicker. I'm just really nervous because I need to get my troops back up to the uh, Albanian border. Oh no, they're coming from Malta. They're coming from Malta? Don't I have Dang. my fleet there? How are they just getting right past you? Dangerous naval invasion. I don't know. Didn't hit yet. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, Athens. We're losing that Malta defense. I'm going to bring my fleet right over there, if I can. Atlantic Navy is just going to come and support it directly. Here we go. Athens is going down. Two divisions left in Athens. Oh boy, get these stupid things out. I'm trying to click things. This is just, it's like pulling teeth. I parked my fleet and that should, shouldn't that disrupt their naval invasion? Maybe not, because it's already started. They're already on the beaches, I guess. There's one division in Athens, you guys. 98%. You can do it. 99, three organization left, 2.4, we're through. We took it, oh. Oh no, oh no. Is it gonna take it back? Oh no, the, the, the I, I hit done, I hit done so you get all the points. Yeah, but there's the damn Tanutuva. Oh crap, I don't know, did they get called in? Oh, maybe because they're my puppets. They shouldn't have enough. I think. Or, or you at least should get everything that's valuable. Oh, boy. I'm trying to help you with Malta. I don't think it's going to work. Oh, I'm having a naval battle here. With the Italians. Eat them. Oh, but it's fucking stormy, shitty weather. My planes aren't going to have enough help. Oh, I got it. I got it all. Yes. Now I can start cranking up my industry. I have so much more materials. Jeez, he's got a lot more ships than me. Well, most of them are destroyers, though. I've got more battleships, more heavy cruisers, and four aircraft carriers that he doesn't have. He's got some land-based torpedo bombers, but not much. But if this this weather has to fucking clear, I'm going to lose all my advantage. We sunk three of his destroyers. Four destroyers. Oh, wow. That is a huge battle going on. You got this, Whoa. though. Jesus, look at the destroyers going down. He's losing them faster, but I'm going to run out pretty soon. So many screens. Okay, the weather's clear, but it's night. But as soon as day comes, my fighters are going to make the fucking difference, I think. Start blowing up their big I'm pulling ships. for you. His battleships are hurting. It's daytime. It's nighttime again. Okay. During the day, my torpedo bombers did something valuable, I think. Oh, I lost two light cruisers. Shit. But he's lost 49 destroyers. There goes his light cruiser. He's running out of screens. I've run out of screens as well. Oh no, you got him, you got him. Bring him down.
This is nuts. There, there you go. Sun. You got a like, cruiser. We both ran out of screens about the same time. I've only got a few light cruisers and they're really hurt. Oh, oh yeah, you got my this heavy now. cruisers he's, are trouble. He's out of screens, isn't he? Yeah, so am I. I needed to be day again so my bombers can maybe finish off a couple of those battleships. There you go, 6 a.m. Get out there, planes. My, my fighters haven't been shot down yet, neither have my torpedo bombers. They've damaged some of the enemy things. It's hard to see what the planes are doing, but his battleships are taking tons of damage. Look at that. Their orb oh, is nice. really low. And his heavy cruisers are pulling out. I still have six heavy cruisers at very high org and strength. You just killed three now. Three Ooh, yeah, three, go three heavy cruisers are down. I lost... Oh, but I lost four heavy cruisers. Shit. Kill a battleship. Kill a battleship. Do it. Oh, that one battleship is retreating. The other ones are staying. Oh, it's hard to see. This is a long battle. Protracted, one might say. <laughs> I'm going to launch my invasion one, of the Levant while this say. is happening. We've already lost Malta. The whole point for being here is done. Oh. Oh, no, that one battleship has to leave. All I've got left is seven battleships and, and four carriers. He, he doesn't really have anything either. You should be hammering him. It's looking like it. Ooh, my battleships are taking the brunt of all his ta attacks right now. And the storm came back! Shit. It's screwing over my torpedo bombers. Ugh. It's lagging there for a moment. Okay, my nice lineup of, uh... Of my... Oh, it's paused, huh? That was weird. Is everybody caught up I here? Should be... Yeah, I should Everybody's be good caught up. Um, so now I'm Come thinking on, if my invasion ships. of the Levant doesn't work, maybe I should, uh, you killed some more. Oh, they took one up one of your battleships. Damn it. You killed this another storm. heavy cruiser and another light cruiser. That's awful. I need to get all of my screens back now. Like, they just you know, fall this, so fast. This is a victory, you know that, right? Because it, Italy will never be able to put back a fleet together like you can. Yeah. It's just All right, a... the storm is gone. Go, go, gadget carriers. <laughs> Sink another one. Oh, boy. His battleship's getting closer to my carriers. I've lost three battleships. Oh, God. Damn it, Nimitz! What are you doing out there? Your skill six! Use your carriers properly! These aren't pre-war torpedo bombers, either. This is this should be... should be a cakewalk. Just blow up his battleships. I've played World of Ships. It's easy. All right, he's... We're, all, we're breaking off here. All, both sides are breaking off. How did he kill four of yours and you didn't get a single one? I don't know. Well, I lost screens faster than he did. So, I mean, that's that's listed as a victory. But I lost five battleships, 34 destroyers, eight heavy cruisers, seven light cruisers. He lost 65 destroyers and six heavy cruisers and seven light cruisers. Okay. Uh, well. Go back to Convoy Escort in the Eastern Med, even though you're deadly in need of repairs. Um, can I use like a, a naval base in England as a repair base? I can, interesting. I'm gonna send him back to repair after this invasion of the Levant if it works out. I, do have, I have some good news. The Greek Air Force is expanding and modernizing. Or not Greek, Turkey. I, I was fighting Greek for so long. <laughs> Damn it, we don't have enough presence here. 
What about my other destroyer group? Oh! Wow! Okay, those are gonna group up and then, uh, yeah. Where did it send your divisions, Russia? Oh my gosh, you won't believe where it sent them. See that little pocket? Holy where... crap. Yeah. You can fight your way out, right? I'm going to have oh, to. You're, you're not at war with them, are you? Well, I sent volunteers. Oh, wow. Yeah. Get to a port, open it up for the United States. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Uh, I will try to get there right now. I was not prepared for this Portugal strategy. Why did it put them there to be auto encircled? You're going to have to hold on for like a week and a half for my troops to get over there, but they're on the way. Oh, that's so cheesy. We sunk some Italian transports off, off of Japan. I need to start training some garrison units to garrison my ports. Uh, Britain, can you patrol the eastern Mediterranean? If you can, I might be able to... Uh... Oh, hang on. I see what you guys are talking about now. Yeah, if you can get to Beirut, I can get some troops over there. I got a tank division racing towards it, but... Because I can't move my units to Beirut uh, at the moment. They do have somebody there, it looks like. Um, do we want to do a focus here? I think we do. Yeah, we're finally off of that, so we definitely want to do a focus. No, that's awful. Um, decryption research. Damn it, he's got somebody at Beirut. I think oh, I need to get that extra research slot first and foremost. Did you want me to try to patrol the Eastern Mediterranean? Yes, you need to patrol the Eastern Mediterranean. We need naval superiority so that my naval invasion on Beirut goes off so I can support the, the Soviets there. We only have 46% naval supremacy, so it's not triggering. Oh, it, there it goes. Whatever you did worked. Or maybe they pulled it off, but my unit just started moving. I just put a pile of 37 subs over there. <laughs> That's all it takes. All right, so I'm hitting them from behind while your tank is hitting them from that side. Hopefully it's enough. There's only one division there. We might do it. Oh, no, we're not, because I have no organization on the invading force. Because being trapped on Cyprus, I have no supply. That's awful. It's going to go really poorly. I'm going to lose all those... Goddamn divisions. Okay, I need to get off of Cyprus. I'm losing all kinds of problems here. I don't know why we're getting zero supply. Control of incoming... Is it because we don't have... Con oh, no. We don't have Gibraltar. Yeah. That's why all my guys are dying out of supply. They have no organization. That whole army is dead. Damn you, UK! My ships are trapped here, too! I'm sorry. <laughs> Crap, I didn't see this coming. Okay. Uh, hey, you're fighting like America did in 1942. You're, you're, you're well on your way. It's okay. Sure. Oh, we're winning. Once we can join... Winning into war. Beirut? If we can just get from Beirut over to... Um, I don't know, actually. Declare war on Iraq so we can clear the way. <laughs> like, I'm actually I'm actually going to start uh, justifying right now. But yeah, if we can even get some limited supply over here, because there's no limited supply. There's no local supply on Cyprus. 
So all my troops are taking horrible attrition. We're trying to open it up. Hmm. I probably won't get to declare war in Iraq, though, until next session. Even if you did, it wouldn't open it up for us. Oh, yeah, that's is right. It's a problem. But if we can at least take Syria, maybe my units will get some local supply there. And we can push down to the Suez, maybe. Ooh, okay. Maybe we could come from the... What? They have one... Naval, level one naval base. Level three naval base. Maybe we can go to the Azores with my other army. I've got some Marines training, and then maybe we can invade Nationalist Spain. Um, all we need to do is take... One side of Gibraltar, right? Yeah. Damn, that's going against us all of a sudden. They must have brought in another division. No, oh yeah, now he's bringing in another one. Crap. Shit, right. that's crap. Auto encircled my guys. Yeah, definitely. You Again, sent him to I'm the sorry. UK and they went to Syria? No, no, that's not your fault. That's that's completely. No, that's what I mean. The AI sent them to yeah. Syria when you tried to send volunteers? Yeah, it sent all nine of my divisions. Down here, yes. That's bullshit. Serious. And they were already encircled. Yeah. Oh, it's winning again, but that's not going to be f for very long. <laughs> yeah. All right, I got to figure out what we're doing next. We got to do this. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, he's got two divisions there. All right, I'm going to start making a marine division um, that can maybe go and do a torch here. Oh, phew, never mind. He reinforced this border completely. Oh, that's crap. No, that's not who I wanted. I want Lloyd. USSR, how goes uh, your internal politics? What do you mean? Like, uh, how goes... Um the purge in your def oh i can look at your defenses oh yeah things are looking good mm -hmm. nice lots of tanks some uh reserve armies nice all right so my one fleet my, my atlantic fleet is trapped in the mediterranean with no supplies and no way to repair but uh, i'm just gonna leave it on cyprus and hope they don't take it from us Otherwise, the whole fleet is sunk. And I got those 37 subs. Hopefully, it could All help right, you out um, if they tried UK, that. UK, we have to take back S Gibraltar or Suez. Gibraltar is going to be a lot easier. I'm getting Marines ready to invade North Africa in Rio de Oro, the tiny little enclave there. Um, but if you want to try to invade Casablanca at the same time, that might be ideal. Okay. improve our marines and damn it I don't have enough XP Turkish divisions now are equipped with anti-tank guns so modernizing pretty quickly yeah I think we know how to make anti-tank guns now don't we Yes, we do. We're definitely going to want at least five of those ASAP. We're finally learning how to make medium tanks. How many do we have? Not many. Not enough to build a division yet. Nice. Okay. I'm hoping the Azores can support my troops. Oh boy, is that... Po uh, Poland's gonna go to war here?
can your troops escape over the border? Mm -mm, no. Wow, that's dumb. <coughs> oh, because they're volunteers. Yep. Ugh. Should we bother trying to send a bunch of volunteers to, to Poland? I don't think we can help. I, I, I'm trying to get a full army in North Africa so we can retake the Gibraltar part there. So we send that to yellow. No, that's green. Yeah. Send it to yellow. Wow, that was real fast. <coughs> that was fast. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> Which island is that? Guam. Okay. I just realized I only have those four crappy units defending Honolulu. I'm going to give one more good division there. I have 81, uh... Insufficient resources. What do we need? We need chromium. Who's got chromium for me? Turkey? I don't know if you can ship us anything. Oh, you were shipping us, and now you can't, because we have no way to get to you, so we'll take some from the UK. Damn. I, I like factories. <coughs> It'll be another 67 days before my 10 division invasion force is ready for Casablanca. Oh, right. yeah, you might you guys... want to chuck it down and not have 10. Bring it down, and it's fast. It's a uh, less. It's faster to, to prepare. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, and then do multiple from different ports, right? That I forgot. Yeah, that. that's yeah. a great idea. Um, is there any way you could build one quick fort, or sorry, fort port uh, over here in Syria, so I can get these guys out? He does control it. Let me try. But you. Oh, you could get them out over to Russia. I see. If he, if he builds a port next to Aleppo, then he should be able to get some guys out. Yeah, I almost have it. I'll be there in a day and two hours, and there's no troops to get there, so. Okay, I'm rushing that. I can't do one next to the actual city of Aleppo, but I just north have... of Lebanon. No, no, do it do it in a second when he takes it, and then he can withdraw all of his troops there oh, okay. and stack on it. Oh, I need to get off of civilian economy. He's going to be there in three hours, two, one. All right, start building. There you go. Thank you. These guys are all still training, and I need them all training because I need to add some more stuff to my Marines. Um... Hey, Soviets, how long until you can start uh, looking at taking the Baltics? With your focus. Oh, um, I can go anti-fascist, but the the thing is, is it, it won't even let me attack Romania because um, they're in the Axis. Right, but you've got a uh, Latvia, Lithuania, and Estonia, oh, yes. who, I'll, who I'll give you at least ten factories each. Okay, I'm planning I... times down to 20, 20 days now. Here's my question. So once this one's done... Should I increase my Marines from six regiments to eight or add support artillery? I'm only going to be able to do one. I think six to eight is probably better than adding support artillery. Uh, too bad Portugal doesn't have any air support there. My Pacific Navy's been doing okay. They're still sitting pretty. Um, I guess. Where is How my... close is the port? There's my destroyer group one.
What port? Oh, that over there. I see. All right, we do have full control of the African and Iberian coast, so we can do our invasions here soon. And I've got my 17... Ooh. Shit. Not 17 anymore. They're getting sunk. Well, uh, Germany didn't give you the option to take Poland, so you don't get a... Couldn't you declare war on him? No. Huh. They won't let me until the Molotov Pact goes away. But Russia gets a free declaration of war if they don't give you half of Poland. No, not with the mod. It won't let me do anything even with the... No, uh, the mod didn't change anything about that. Because I've had that happen before where I was I was playing Russia. If you do Molotov Ribbon... The only thing the mod does was force you to take Molotov Ribbentrop. It didn't change anything else. So you, like, declare war on this country, you have a non-aggression pact. No, but it should have given you an event. It should have given Germany an event to say, honor the pact or not, and then, based on that, you should have gotten an event. Maybe he's just not clicking it. <laughs> he's just sitting there not clicking the event. That's really lame if that's the case. Um, yeah. I'm going to go ask him if they got the event. Otherwise, we might have gotten a bug here. That port in Aleppo will be done on the 20th of December. Okay. You can hold out. Nice. Well, they're not even trying to take it. That's weird. The Italian player must be a little... Oh, he's, moving. he's got so many troops here. Right hey, guys, we're, a quick question. Oh, we're wondering if that event fired to whether or not you're supposed to give Eastern uh, Poland to the Soviet nope. Union. Nope. I wonder if it didn't fire because Romania took some of it. That's weird. Uh, yes, they, they took it. These These bad Romanians. Yeah, no, yeah, sorry. I, no, I mean, I, I gave <laughs> the territory to Romania because I wanted to tr find out if uh, if this territory gets, uh, you know, thrown away too, even if I ah, don't own it. But instead, the event didn't fire because it didn't detect yeah. that Germany had control of that. Okay, I can, might be able to fix That's a vanilla bug I might be able to fix. All right, thanks. That's at least what I would say because I had no event so far. Yeah, I'll look into it. All right, they said they never got the event, and my hypothesis is because Romania has some of Poland, and I think the event is probably triggered on, uh, uh oh, coast of Japan. We're having a battle. Oh, it's our subs versus Italian convoys. Okay, um, I'm guessing it's because Romania has that, and the event probably checks to see if Germany controls those, then give it to the Soviet Union. Hmm. Something like that. Interesting. All right, so Sweden is being eaten alive, huh? We actually probably could get some, enough forces over there to defend them in time. Yeah, as long as they never get the annexing. Uh... Yeah. All right, my Marines are preparing here to go. Are you ready to go to Casablanca? Um, It's another 20 days and then another 10 days. Okay. Successfully shut down some more Italian convoys over in Japan. Large ships on low strength. You don't say. The carriers are the only things over there that are surviving. Oh, thank goodness. Those Soviet troops made it. Why are your Soviet troops moving around like idiots? Are they trying yeah, to I... deal with a, with, a, with a battle line or something? Oh, no! The Italians took Aleppo, so now that probably will not finish the port. Oh, well, it was this little the, province the, Yeah, the port's still building. He's got really? 13 days. I thought That's if 20. they lost control of the state, it would stop it from building, but okay. Building a port for the Italians? No. <laughs> I need a lot. I do have a lot of towed artillery. I have not enough towed anti-tank in my forces, but... Two lines of that going ASAP. I still need to get off of civilian economy. I'm waiting for that to build up. It's taking forever.
Oh, well, there you go. Did it work? Yep. Oh! That finally fired, huh? It yeah, it just time. fired. It just, and took my land, too, so don't worry about that. Interesting. Well, that kind of makes sense. I mean, it was part of the deal. They were trying to find out if it would give Romania's land or not. Oh, no, they're trapped in the fine. How long until the port? You need 10 more days? I don't know if they're going to last 10 days. They can do it. I don't know if you can withdraw is the bigger problem. Oh, Bridger, you're going to hate me because I'm going to go right to Cyprus. So <laughs> well, <laughs> my units are just going to die there, I think. Uh, so much for the big red one. Oh, no, he's attacking me. All right, I've got 17 divisions ready to stream into North Africa as soon as uh, it's available. 11 days and 5 days. Oh, no, it's it stopped because he's attacking me, I think. Damn. Yep. Yeah. All right, I would just, uh, yep. Crap. Yeah, that port's not building, yeah. It's okay, we will invade once the war breaks out from Anatolia and crush the Italians, so who cares? We are going to have a bloody war in the Balkans, though, it looks like. I'm going to prepare for a second invasion to the southern port. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to have to go in about 15 minutes. I know it's 15 minutes early, but um, it just kind of worked out that way. All right. Be careful. He landed right behind you in Cyprus. Oh, yeah, he's just going to crush us then. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. I have no organization on my troops. They're just going to die. That is awful. How did he land with all them damn subs? And, wow. I, I, I mean, that's something there. that the game has a problem with, is that even when you have everything in the way, they sometimes sneak through and they need to fix that. I wish I, I can't... I'm not enemies with... Navies can't pass through the Turkish Straits for some reason. I can't get into the Black Sea to hide, even though we're not enemies. Oh, ask for military access. Yeah, see if that works. For Turkey. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe that means I can move my troops off onto Turkey. Yes, I can go to Turkey. Go, troops, go. Yes, flee to Turkey. I forgot, Jesus Christ, this whole time I forgot military access was a thing. I still can't have my navies pass through there for some reason. You, is there ask for basing access? No, you I don't see an ask my, for basing. You could come to my uh, bases. That would be ideal. Uh, no, there's nothing about basing, so it just for some reason doesn't let you. Okay. Uh, next up... Do I need... 1940 see air See if power you can just move to one of my bases. Maybe it's just... I tried that too. I tried like a rebase... Oh, yeah, they're letting me go to your base. Okay. Perfect. I'm ready to hit Casablanca. All right, my troops are actually getting some supplies here, at least. It looks like. Oh, Maybe nice. They can spread them out. Yep. Big red one is live. <laughs> <laughs> I can send some over to Greece. I have a question. Does anybody have extra anti-tank guns? I'm short by 800 right now. Uh, I've got about six. <laughs> six. Six anti-tank guns. <laughs> six. Six anti-tank guns. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. <laughs> Big Red One is just going to spread throughout Turkey. Maybe I can get... Hang on. Can I get uh, military access through the Soviet Union? And would that allow my supplies to flow? Let's find out. It does not allow just... me to supply through the Soviet Union, but maybe, maybe I can just walk to Archangel. Yeah, just strategically redeploy. 
all the way to uh, Archangel or Vladivostok. Go back to Alaska. Bridger, your Marines ready? Yes. I'm going to see if it's going to let me strategically redeploy. Yes, they're strategically redeploying to Archangel. Excellent. Let me know when you want to hit go on that then. Uh, okay, let me take a look. Okay, I need three more days for this second invasion. Hey, heads up to you, Soviet Union. Uh, your border with Hungary and the Carpathian Mountains is not manned. Yeah. All right. I'm waiting for Mountaineers. All right, 12 of the 14 days. Let's improve my Marines by adding... God, it's so close. That's not enough. I'm just going to add one Marine to them right now. Who's still training? We don't have enough people training. All right. So I don't actually have a Navy that can help these naval invasions. Do you have a Navy that can help yours at least? Just park it off the coast? Yeah, I, I have a pretty good line all the way down right now. Right, but for the you need to park it off the coast in order to uh, get the benefit of a naval bombardment during an invasion. You know what I mean? But he, but he needs yeah. to cover all the areas. Oh, I see. Yeah. Through. Okay. So let's um, just do it. There, I don't I have a fleet like that down there. I just got subs. Well, if if he's he should be able to land in in Casablanca in the area. I mean, the Canary Islands are also a good target. That's true. They would have a little bit more potential supply and, and basing areas to launch from. But let's try this. We're going to hit those three North African ports. I got the bottom two with two divisions of Marines each. Ready? Ready. You hit yeah, go, yeah, and then I'll wait out like a, a day or so because yours are coming from England, right? That's right. Okay. I'm going. Go ahead. Just tell me when they get to, like, Portugal, and I'll launch mine from the Azores and the whatever that tiny island here is, Madeira. No, it doesn't. That's definitely the same army. Don't give me that crap. How are things going for you, Canada? Yeah, I'm still building up. <laughs> oh, <Jesus>. so, uh... <laughs> Six most divisions. My, yeah, most of my troops got overrun in France, so oh, that's oh. Rough. it's a slight problem for Canada, but I'm I'm recovering. Do you need point. any? Um, so what do you need? Yeah, I, I mean I can always use more infantry equipment. Okay. Speaking of that, I gotta switch to infantry equipment too. I got that unlocked a while ago and forgot to switch over. Mine unlocks in nine days. Holy shit! One, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven factories being produced at a time. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, I haven't even switched USA. off my fucking civilian economy yet. And you're not building any tanks, right? I'm I'm building tanks with four factories right now. No, I mean uh, Canada. Oh. No, 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 I'm not. Okay. I'm too poor. USA, how long till you get off a of civilian economy? Uh, about seven more political power. All right. I spent I spent all my political power uh, trying to get limited intervention and some other things um, that would help right. unlock Five my Portugal research now. slot. The research slot was the one I really send your about. marines. All right, they're going. At least they're theoretically going. Yes, they are. Oh, the other one is still arriving, so it's going to go in a second. Hopefully he doesn't have those garrisoned really well. We need a bunch of steel still, huh? Didn't I research excavation? Yeah, so I'll wait until that takes care of things. Yeah, I'll take a little more import of steel. From the Soviet Union, they give us good steel. They let us uh, <laughs> sneak around through their territory, so I guess that's what we'll have to do. There are probably people on the uh, uh, watching the video... Um, in like a week's time when I upload it, they're going to be like, what the hell? Why didn't you just escape to the Soviet Union? They're going to be screaming at their thing like, okay, so I'm attacking this port. 
Hopefully, that will move units down there. We'll see. It doesn't look like we're going to win at the moment. We're definitely not going to win. They've got a they've got a fort there. How strong is their fort? They've got at least a level two, maybe, fort. All right. Casablanca is probably our only hope here, because my two marines are not very well built. If this doesn't work, I might pull them back and make a bigger invasion with four marines in the same place. And hope. Ooh. I'm also attacking really bad terrain. Hills. Ugh. Looks like I'll win in Casablanca. Nice. All right, I've got 17 divisions ready to stream in there after once you take it. <laughs> I hope you guys pull that off. Actually, 24. I'm sorry. I've got 24 ready to go. 17 will make it there faster. I need five more still. I'm getting factories coming off of the damn... <laughs> I'm getting so many factories built at the same moment, I keep running out of steel. Okay, there we go. I can finally modify my government and get to war economy. Or do I want to go to total mobilization? Nah, let's do war economy for now. Less there we than go. A day, less than a day, we'll have Casablanca. Get ready with those troops. I now have way too many factories. Okay. I'm building all the factories. I'm ready. He reinforced. Oh, no, he has reinforced. There we I'm go. coming, got I'm coming. It. Break got out it, if it. you can. No, he's got it. He's got it. Just I know, land. but... Oh, okay, yeah, those are your guys. I didn't see the other five were your guys. Oh, yeah. Americans need to pour through Casablanca and really fuck Spain shit up. Yep, we need to get that northern uh, Ceuta. If you take... If you bust open uh, Morocco, then the Italians will be forced to withdraw from a lot of troops from Syria. Yes. They've got 40 divisions over there. So also, um, right now, start upgrading that port or build more ports because we're going to be in that specific state because we're going to be pulling all of our tr all of our uh, supply through there. Sounds good. God, this is cool. I love naval invasions and breakouts. I wish I was a part of the Allies just so I could watch it. All right, so both of my other Marine invasions in the South didn't work out, but I did. I should have concentrated them instead. But anyway, that's all water under the bridge. They'll be back for another invasion in the future, I'm sure. All right, well, tell me when your guys is uh, when the Americans land in the pocket. They are probably a day and a half away. All right, I gotta see what I'm doing with my production here and my research. Are we getting? Yeah, we're on our way towards getting some more factories there. I'm going to start producing so much stuff I won't be able to deal with it. Sounds like a good problem to have. That's true. So what do I really want? What do I really, in my deepest heart of hearts, I want like three lines of... Oh god, more insufficient resources. Steel again. Soviet Union gets another factory. So, are you going to send some Americans south to secure the ports for the south? Or are you just going to start Specifically, we got to take Algeria? that. We got we got to try to take first that if we can get one half of that Gibraltar coast, I think that means we're allowed to then send our ships through. Oh, gotcha. That's key. Smart. And you can defend along the river the entire way too as you secure the the yep. coast. All right, my troops are about to land. USA <laughs> USA. My navy might not be doomed after all. It is still hiding in Turkey. Where's my <laughs> other? There's my other army. Oh, those guys for some reason did not become up. They got become a so I only lost one division from the big red one after all of that. 
in the end. I'm going to send it over to England. Cornwall specifically for now. And here come the American divisions. Have they landed? They are landing right now. There they are. And now I've got a pretty massive problem with regards to uh, supply. Wait, where are they going? Why are you leaving? No, don't leave. No, no, no. 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 <laughs> Cancel whatever orders you have. You need to set up a front line in the yeah. area so they stop no, trying to pull back. No, they, try they were trying to go back because I gave them a different kind of order oh, earlier. Gosh. Yeah, don't touch them in transit. No, it's because they, they had a... Um, what you call it, a fallback order to the islands in order to get them over there. That's the most efficient way to do it, usually. All the Italians are gone from the Turkey border, or most of them. Yeah, they're probably coming if back you, here. Yeah, well, you guys, uh, I mean, it's I mean, it's like D-Day. They just need to uh, secure a couple coastal provinces and start building ports, and they'll... they'll uh, yeah, if you want to move south, I have 14 more divisions going to be there in a minute. All right, I am waiting for a bit of a... Uh, you know what? No, we're not waiting for a planning bonus. We're just pushing out. Um, I mean, If America, we get out of these states, we can take advantage of more of the local supply, too. Yeah, I mean, America being there is going to be... Uh, it's going to be hard for the uh, Italians to, to stop them. Well, just remember, I need to... Uh, oh, well, Germany sizes the up the Soviet theater. Union. <laughs> Oh, I didn't name it correctly. This is what I was going to try to name. Nice. I mean, Quaita is just two provinces away. Oh, uh, you know what you should do, UK, is give control of the, the area to the United States so they can pump their unending factories into building infrastructure and docks. Uh, I think that's actually UK territory, so they can't give control of it because it's not occupied. We can do that with Spanish Africa in the north, though. Okay. Oh, yeah, they're the state owner cause, uh, because the France and UK merged. That's right. Yep. Damn. You got to put those... American factories to good use. We need more rubber. UK, don't lose it. Don't lose that rubber over there. Is the, did the Japanese just declare war on you? Is that what that is? Yeah, I just saw something pop up and I clicked it close real quick. All right, my troops are spreading out, so we're not taking quite as much attrition from low supply here. Hey, can you... So the UK should see if they can add the Netherlands to... Uh, the allies, otherwise they're going to switch to fascist eventually. They're, everyone's adding uh, political party power. Yeah. It's at 100%. Can you invite so they them? They will not accept. Damn. Refuse the offer. You could uh, invade them before they join the Axis then, right? Yeah. Trigger that. Have to do that. I've got 24 divisions that can jump in there. Okay, I'll start setting that up. Yeah, because you can take that focus. The divisions that were formerly... Uh, trapped in Syria. That was kind of an amazing ride for that one. That troops. And uh, can you can you uh, you should be able to uh, get the troops for the Raj. Should be able to request them. He's starting to attack you there. Japan is. Oh crap! Where did my Marines go? Oh yeah, I can request up to forty-four divisions from the Raj. Should I do that? Yeah. Yes, and then just make sure. And just hold, yeah, hold him back. Yeah, because the Raj has got people, the AI has got them lined up against Sinkang and Iran and Afghanistan. All right, guys, I have to take off. Um, but you guys just keep doing what you're doing. Turkey is, Turkey will be fine until next week. So, I mean, there's no, only 15 bad. more minutes left. So. Yeah. Not much the AI can screw up in 15 minutes, I hope. <laughs> One would hope, yes. You, you would hope. <laughs> Best luck, guys. Best see you. Oh, no. oh, no. They did screw something up. 
I think they just kicked my ships out. Did they? Just, it says we refused our request for military access. Our ships are still ported there. Oh, they are justifying. No, no, that was already him. All right, so here, submarines can pass. We still need Gibraltar. We need both sides. It says contested. Armies, navies can't pass. Trade can't pass. Submarines are the only things that can get through still. All right, I'm planning an invasion of southern uh, southern Spain. I'm trying to push out. If you look at our... Um, damn it, this needs to not be there. If you look at the... Uh, my battle plans, I'm trying to push out to the... Ooh. to the river there in North Africa. But yeah, if you want to give me control of Spanish Africa, I'll see if I can request it from you. There we go. Then I can just build tons of naval bases there and we can invade from that place. All right, those will be those are working right now. Oof. Well, the Italians showed up now. Yeah. Oh, we've got an air base there. Perfect. I'm going to put some planes in. See what we've got. Um, we have no fighters. Why don't we have any fighters? a massive naval battle. I lost six battleships and a carrier? Yikes. I did not have enough screens. I also lost 40, dis 40 CV bombers. I lost 31. Jesus, he had way too many screens compared to me. I got some air now in North Africa. Alright, so the Pacific Fleet should theoretically be retreating to repair. <laughs> Where are they exactly? They're going back to... Well, they need to go all the way there. They can go here. Yeah, okay, we lost a carrier and we lost a lot of destroyers, so that's what we need to work on building. One more huge set of destroyers. Lots of them. Where the hell are they? Here they are. Send that to the Pacific Navy for now. I'm going to slow the expansion there in uh, Northern Africa and just kind of hold this can. I've got seven divisions coming to reinforce what we have. Oh, Switzerland is now being attacked, huh? Okay. But the Swiss... I can't land more troops in North Africa without uh, going over the limit at the moment. My construction of those naval bases is going to be 
started to be valuable in next month. Oh, Casablanca's da uh, damaged infrastructure is probably hurting us. Be careful, he just encircled him. Holy breakout. Yeah, he got a lot of shit there. Alright, I have seven more divisions coming to port. Do you have any uh, ports being constructed in, in like south of Casablanca to help us out with supply? All along the coast, yeah. Japan's about to have Singapore. I still have my planes. You have some fighters there too, good. I think we're going to hold that that northern tip there, and if that's the case, I can... Conf as soon as we get more stuff built, I can, I can stream 24 more divisions down there. Not that they're super great when I don't know how to make freaking anti-tank guns. Alright, I got 245. I'm going to add it to my divisions. At least it'll start getting down there. 15 days, I'll be ready to hit the Netherlands. Alright, we're hanging on to that northern tip. That's all we gotta do. We can't lose any of those ones that we have, or we'll be in trouble. Extra research slot, go! I need it. Damn it, they closed off Casablanca. Yeah, and there's Singapore. I think they destroyed two of my divisions, too, it looks like. Shit. Ooh, I lost 13 convoys. Coming out of the Soviet Union. Because, of course, why wouldn't they go out of Archangel when they can go through the Baltic Sea and get sunk? Jesus. Damn it, we're gonna lose. Yeah, well. Casablanca there. What's causing it? Because we are... It says we're low on supply. It's not really affecting as much as the encirclement penalty. They're low on supply too, though. They just have a lot more soft attack with those divisions. Those are Germans there too. Shh, Asbot. Yeah, they came back hard. All right. Uh, let's try this. Okay. If we get really lucky, we might be able to retreat into southern Spain. Marines 2 is finished. I'm gonna get Sherman as soon as we can. Crap! Couldn't get the damn naval bases built. Well, alright, that's no good. Yeah, I'm going to put four marine divisions into southern Spain as soon as I can. We just couldn't get a beachhead on there fast enough, and I didn't have enough anti-tank. Not good. What's their armor level? Their armor level is nine. They don't even have much armor at all. Just one anti-tank regiment or battalion or whatever would be enough. Oh, the unit's out of supply, so it's not recovering at all. Of course not. Oh, those damned 
All right, we're going to get one naval base in... Where's that one? In Ceuta. In six days. So we'll get some supplies in that northern pocket. For what it's worth. Southern pocket's just going to survive until it dies, really. All right, here goes the Marines. They're going into southern Spain. Let's see if they can work. We might have pulled enough of their divisions into North Africa that if we can hit southern Spain and get a break out there. Come on, Marines. We believe in you. Probably should have given them support artillery before this attack, but maybe we'll get lucky. Yeah, they closed Casablanca. Yeah. Damn it. Ouch. Alright, Siut is about to have a naval base. We can use it to retreat from. We should have retreated from Casablanca, too. We lost a bunch of divisions there. We didn't have to. We just need to hold out for two more days. Ooh, the outcome is currently undecided in southern Spain. It's going our way. We're going to win it in less than a day. I got 24 more divisions ready to go in. Awesome. Still not going to have enough anti-tank, but maybe it'll take long enough for them to get up there. And you could maybe retreat your 15 divisions over there. That is a level 5 naval base. It can support us, I think. Okay. Alright, come on, Suta. As soon as the naval base is established... Oh, God. I think that's gonna be bad. We might lose all those guys. Shit. Now it's not gonna be one. Why does it always give you hope and then take it away? <laughs> Ah, Damn yep, it. they're all overrun. Farg. And that naval invasion in southern Spain is going to fail. Alright, I'm going to call it off. What time is it? It's about 2 o'clock. Seems like a good time to... How long until your non-aggression pact is breakable over there, Soviet Union? Mm, let's see. I can't break it until... Cannot revoke pact before the 3rd of August, 1940. Okay, so at the end of this year, maybe we can plan for a big naval invasion on our end at the same time that you launch an invasion along with Turkey. Like, if you can, you and Turkey could try to crush Romania after... Like, we'll do a naval invasion in the fall or late summer, and then you guys can hopefully use that distraction when they pull their forces again over to the, where they're doing right now. Like, because there's a lot of Italians and Germans over there. And maybe then you can crush Romania before they're uh, able to get back. That's my guess of the best thing that we could do here. Germany's justifying against Latvia, Lithuania, and Estonia. Oh, you gotta do those. Why aren't you justifying against them? I'm far from the, uh, I'm two more focuses away. Wait, you did the Molotov ribbon trap. You should already have claims on them. Yeah, you do. All you have to do is justify on them and they'll, they'll give in to your demand. And you'll just get them. Oh, I've got some fighters and close air support in Britain I forgot about. Well, we'll have them help defend England just in case. Oh no, those are the ones that retreated from Spanish Morocco. Alright, there goes the last of the big red one divisions. Uh, okay, we're going to have to deal with that.
And I'm going to need a lot more dockyards, too. To rebuild all those destroyers, I think. So what's the Pacific Fleet made of now? It's, it's a shadow of its former self. I have one battleship that's heavily damaged, six light cruisers, and 14 destroyers. Oh, God, that's awful. that was headed for the Atlantic Navy is no longer going to be functional. Oh, wow. I'm so deep in the hole on resources all of a sudden. factories for the UK. There we go. All right, new plan. These marines. Which how do the marines keep getting lumped into training again each time? I don't understand. Now going to plan to invade the Azores so we have another invasion route. That was a good idea, whoever came up with that. All right, I'm going to pause it here. And... Uh, We'll call it a day, a very disastrous day for the Allies so far. All right, guys, we're going to call it for the day. That was a roller coaster of a ride. <laughs> um, did, did you already save? Or can I'm, I... I'm, sa I'm going to save it right now. Uh, but oh, you want okay. to yeah, something I, up? I hope I remember it next week. <laughs> Oof. That hurt. That was a lot of divisions in North Africa.